EA Sports. It's in the game. And welcome to this exhibition clash between the New York football Giants and the Carolina Panthers. The Panthers playing on the road, always a difficult place to win. What does the traveling team have to do? Well, Gus, there's no question that uh, not only do you have to overcome a terrific football team, but you have to overcome one of the toughest environments in the National Football League. So emotionally, you almost have to Find your own energy on the field. The bench has to be alive. You have to be cheering for each other. You just have to create that raw emotion to overcome what the crowd is giving you on the other side. All right, Chris, with that in mind, let's go down to the field. We are ready for football. The stop was made by number 87. And from Ole Miss, onto the field steps, the eighth-year quarterback, Eli Manning. The offense will take over at the 24-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Searching for an open man. Going down the middle with it. He's tackled right around the 44-yard line by Godfrey. Excellent gain through the air. Will set them up with another first down and 10. Bradshaw gets the ball. 
And the tackle was made by Thomas Davis. And as we look at the key offensive players, a key mix out of North Carolina is the go-to deep threat. And that's important when we talk about a balanced attack all the time. And if you can't stretch the field, you're in danger of becoming extremely one-dimensional. Akeem Nix is an exciting player that gives the offense that home run threat. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. Going up towards the end zone. And he drops the short pick. And as we take a look at some of the key defenders, we look at John Beeson out of Miami. And Gus, when you look at what he's done in his career so far, you realize it is no fluke. He's the perfect combination of size and speed for what you want in a linebacker in today's game. Third down now. They'll need about three yards to convert for a new set of downs. <laughs> Throws to his right. It's almost picked off. Well, you can't just stare down one receiver on a play like that. The defense is going to be all over it. He was lucky he didn't get picked off there. It's fourth down. The Giants lining up to punt. And this one will bounce out of the end zone for a touchback. So now the quarterback comes onto the field, and in conversations with him earlier in the week, he mentioned that he really wanted to get going early and get into a rhythm. Let's see if he can do just that. The offense will start at the 20. It's first and 10. Dumps it out right. He's wrestled down right around the 30-yard line by Phillips. First down and 10. So the ball on their own 30. They go with the run. The stop was made by Chris Canty. This is an offense that can score on you in a hurry. With this big play threat, veteran wide receiver Steve Smith from Utah is still getting it done. He's just amazing, isn't he, Gus? Usually receivers will lose speed as their careers progress. I know all about that. But Steve Smith can still get down the field fast and burn you deep. Of course, the hands are still there, too. He's been giving a lot of defensive coordinators migraines for a long time. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. He lost yardage on the play. Well, obviously, on third down, it's all or nothing. The guy's trying to make a play, trying to run around and pick up that first down, and that one just never got going. It's fourth down. The Panthers are lining up to punt this one away. Number 15 fields it at the 26. You know, I like that return. Nothing flashy, but it was really effective. The thing I hate to see are guys that are dancing around back there trying to be a playmaker when they're really not. At least he got up the field, got a few yards. That's what I like to see. They'll go to work at the 32-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Throws to his left. He drops the easy pick. Smith was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. They spot it at their own 32. Still looking for an open man. A deep strike over the middle. He's dropped down right around the 34-yard line by Martin.
And the big pickup through the air brings up a first down and 10. And he's tackled right around the 26-yard line by Anderson. They'll need about three yards here on second down. The pocket collapsing. And the tackle was made by Charles Johnson. The defense was coming with the heat on that play. But you'd never know it if you were watching the quarterback. He stood in there strong, completely relaxed, and made that defense pay that time. And we'll have a first down and 10. And the ball on the 18-yard line. Bradshaw gets the carry left side. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. John Beeson was there to bring him down. They line up at the 17. is short right side Chris Gamble was there for the stop the quarterback found his man there and picks up a big gain through the air Chris how did he get open on that play well Gus this guy is known for being a ball hog but sometimes if a defensive back tries to make a play on the ball he'll come up short and leave his receiver open for a big gain and I think that's exactly what we saw there it'll be interesting to see how he plays him for the rest of the game and they need just eight for the score. Manning with the give. He's got it. Touchdown! When a ball carrier has that kind of superb vision, he can really make a defense pay. An offensive lineman love playing with a back like that because if there is a hole, he's going to find it. Lawrence Times adds the extra point. New York up seven points. Tynes will be kicking off. Number 22 stands back to field the kick. He'll return it from the one. He gets it back out to the 20-yard line. Prince Amukamara was there to bring him down. They'll start at the 20-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Williams gets it on the draw. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. And so many times you hear offensive coordinators criticize because they don't try to run the football enough. Well, when you get stuffed in the backfield like that, you understand why they would rather call the pass play. It's second down now and 13 to go. And the ball on their own 17. Hands it to the back. Clint Sinton was there for the stop. Seven yards. And third down now. They'll need seven to convert. Takes off with it, and he's in the clear. The coaches have to be disappointed with that effort. Yeah, their poor defense didn't even have time to go over and get a glass of water. All of a sudden, the punter's back on the field, and the defense has to go play again. So, it's fourth down. The Panthers ready to punt this one away.
Number 15 fields the ball at the 30. I'm sure they would have liked to have gotten a little better return out of him there. Yeah, he really didn't have much of a chance at all to make anything happen there. I, mean, I, I know this guy's a dangerous punt return guy, but you can't do it on your own. They'll take over at the 34. It's first and 10. He found some daylight. There he goes. Racing toward the end zone. He powers into the end zone for a touchdown. Impressive play that time. Not only did he understand what the defense was trying to do to him, but his vision enabled him to find the hole and make a big play. Extra point is good. Time winds down here in the first with the score. The Giants, 14, the Panthers. Nothing. New York gets ready to kick it away. Goodson is deep, looking to return the kickoff. It's fielded at the two. At the 30. Across midfield. Defense pushes him out of bounds at the 38. He almost broke that one all the way for six. You know, it always makes me laugh. We have these finely tuned, well-conditioned athletes. But how many times have you seen a guy break a big kick like that and sort of towards the end of the run, he starts looking like he's just run out of gas. Give to the tailback. The stop was made by Antrell Roll. Nine-yard pickup. And two yards away here on second down. A lot of pressure, and he's sacked. The quarterback had no chance on that play. Talk about raw determination by the defender to get into the backfield. Yeah, not a lot of pretense on that play, huh? He is so strong. It seems like he can bulldoze through these huge offensive linemen almost at will. They're going to need to find a way to double-team him if they ever hope to keep him off their quarterback. And that opens up room for other defenders. Yeah, exactly, and that's another reason why he's so dangerous. You need two guys to shut him down, which allows one of the other defenders to get after the quarterback unblocked. They'll call on the field goal unit here. The kick is no good. Still a lot of time left, but at the end of one, our score, 14, nothing. And welcome back to New Jersey. They'll set up shop at the 41-yard line. First down and 10. Flips out short. And the tackle was made by John Beeson. You know, it's really easy to overlook those big guys on the line, but they did a good job picking up the blitz. Yeah, that's a great call because when you get a blitz package like that and your offensive line can first of all figure it out and then get it blocked, it's very tough to cover one-on-one -on -one in the secondary. Makes the throw over the middle. He's brought down around the 21-yard line by Godfrey. They line up at the 21. Manning with the pitch. And he gives the Giants a first and goal. Yeah, they did a really nice job sealing off the corner there and good vision that time by the back. A lot of patience, took his time, found the hole, picked up a nice game. New York looking to make this a three-score game. 
He's searching for a receiver. Chris Gamble was there to bring him down. Boss gains about five yards on the play. Two, maybe two and a half yards from the goal line now. Manning tosses it right. Hit and drop behind the line. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. Third and goal from the three-yard line. Searching for an open man. Watch out. Touchdown. Akeem Nix has so much ability, and he's well utilized, really, in this offense. He's a hard receiver to cover, and there's really a certain toughness about him. He's going to fight you for position and for the ball. And the point after is good. 